back with a, another astrophotography video. I was asked if I could do a new full edit in Photoshop using the Photochemy action set. Today I'm going to edit a wide field of uh, NGC 2264 or uh, also known as the Christmas Tree Nebula located in uh, I think Monoceros, Monoceros, I don't know how, it, uh, how you say it. I put the details of the setup and the uh, image in the description along with a link to the final edit. Also I want to add uh, a... this set has helped me a lot as a beginner astrophotographer <coughs> As you know, uh, editing astro images can take up quite some time, but with these actions, the time I spend now uh, behind the desktop has been reduced significantly. Also, a, a tip for uh, the beginner, which has helped me a lot, is making sure the, to spend a good amount on each target uh, in terms of uh, imaging. So I'd say uh, aim for an average of four hours at least. Um, this, uh, this will make it much easier pulling out the data in post. You'll get better details, uh, less noise uh, and uh, overall a cleaner image. Okay, uh, let's start by stretching the image using the level stretch uh, level stretch action here so just following the messages on screen now before stretching the image uh, more I'll do a star bloat reduction as uh, yeah, the stars in, in this image uh, are a bit blown out uh, probably because I didn't use any filter during the session so on the star bloat reduction one Looking somewhat better now. Probably use uh, use the action another time after uh, after I stretch the image more. So for the stretch now, I will use the um, the auto stretch action. Let's see how it turns out. Should be should be good. Uh, Okay, yeah, that uh, brought out quite some uh, some details already. Yeah, not bad. Get some uh, the Hubble variable nebula with the cone nebula. It's nice. Okay. So yeah, I don't know. Roto rotate the image looks nicer this way uh, portrait mode <coughs> okay uh, the other star bloat reduction now I'll change the colors uh, with the green uh, green removal. 
probably make it a bit orange. Yeah, okay. Uh, reduce the opacity a little bit. So probably, yeah. During the edit, uh, the colors will be boosted uh, with uh, the other actions. <coughs> so, let's see if we can bring out more of the nebula using the using several filters uh, nebula strong and the space dust so yeah just uh, letting the image uh, letting the, ex the action do its thing just uh, follow the the messages on screen so I just changed the the black points as this uh, this filter uh, makes the image a bit brighter Same here. Yeah, adjusting the levels uh, slightly to my choice. Now the the next filter is space dust. Yeah, it made quite a nice difference already. Nice. Now these uh, these filters has, have uh, softened the image a bit, so need to bring back some of the details guess the space contrast and uh, the other uh, <coughs> detail filter should should do it let's see okay see the difference mm, good good enough for me so as you can see they get some uh, oh, get some difference in the in brightness at the borders um, I'm going to see if I can uh, fix that because I want to keep the the dark nebula here um, I'll fix this in Adobe RAW but yeah, probably the bottom I'll just uh, crop crop this but before doing that I will use the gradient exterminator plugin um, selecting the colors the, of the nebula and inversing the selection and now using the the plugin on on the background let's see the difference it's yeah much much better much better now before the removing the brightness in the borders I'm going to run the noise uh, reductions the color noise reduction and the the background noise reduction okay let's fix the border <coughs> the gradient uh, is it called local adjustment gradient tool I believe Yes, okay. 
I'll do the same on the bottom here. Something like this. See the difference? Maybe slightly more. Another one. Okay, looks good to me. And let's crop out the, the bottom. It's too hard to fix that and there's nothing interesting uh, in that area. Uh, okay, let's see if uh, the star reduction filters uh, will come up with. I think I prefer the third one. Let's see if uh, between one and the two, uh, one and three, sorry, to reduce the opacity. Okay. Not too much. It's a nice, uh, nice star field. Okay, I believe that should do it. Maybe adjust some of the, yeah, just some contrast in uh, in the Nick software plugin. Just color, uh, color FX Pro first. do it for this image I believe. It's a quick edit with some yeah, decent results especially for the time I spend on this. Uh, for sure uh, if you spend more time uh, you will get uh, even better results but for me now this uh, I'm happy with the with the outcome so I'm going to leave uh, this here. Okay, uh, you can always contact me if you 
I have any more requests uh, regarding astrophotography editing. So thanks for watching. Bye.